Hey guys, and welcome back to our next lesson on AutoCAD. So today we're going to be starting with an example number two, which is going to be this shape right here. And so this is something that you'd see probably in some type of engineering aspect, some type of part. And so what we're going to be doing is drawing these concentric circles coming around, drawing our construction lines and adding our dimensions. We're going to start off with the circle here in the center. So to start that off, we're looking at our dimensions. So anytime you see this symbol right here, that means diameter. And anytime you see this symbol, it means radius, right? So our diameter of our first circle is going to be 2.25. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hit top right here to center our origin point. And then to get the origin locked in, we're going to hit our circle. And then we're going to type 0, comma 0, enter. That's going to put us right on the center of our origin point. And remember, this is diameter, so what we're going to do is type in D. So you see how I, I specified radius of a circle. I put D, I hit Enter, and now it's going to specify diameter of a circle. Now I'm typing in 2.25. That's going to get, our, get us our first circle put in. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is, let's look back at our drawing. So we're going to draw some construction lines. So I'm going to draw these parallel construction lines, and then I'm also going to use our offset tool to draw this construction line. So remember how we do that? We're going to go up here to where it says property layers. You're going to click on it. You're going to right click inside this menu. You're going to hit new layer. We're going to name that layer construction one. And then we're going to change that color to yellow, hit OK. OK, then once we have that, we're going to cl click off of there. Now we're going to go down to draw, and you're going to have this construction line. OK, so we're making sure that it is continuous, infinite lines, right? And so what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to click here, draw our construction line going this direction. And then we're going to click here, draw our construction line going this direction, hit escape, of course. So instead of restarting the video, we're just going to uh, go back. So remember, if you make a mistake, you can always go back. You have to click on that construction, that construction line area right there, right? So we're going to go back over here, go back to draw, go back to this. Now we're going to click on here. draw our construction line going this direction. Then we're going to click on the center point to draw our construction line going up and down. And so remember, what we're going to do is we're going to hit escape. We're going to go over here to our offset tool. Now it says specify the offset distance. So we're going to go back to our drawing. It's going to be 1.12. And so we'll come back off of that. And so 1.12, hit enter. And we're going to click on our layer right here. Offset on that direction. All right. And so now we have our first sets of offsets put in, right? So let's look at what we got to do now. All right. So that's 1.12. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw our small circles. Okay. And the small circles have a diameter of... 0.56. Okay, so we're going to come back over here. We're going to go back over here to where our lines are, our our lines or layers are put. We're going to double click on our on our regular lines, our original layer. Then we're going to go over here to circle. Okay, and so let's look at our let's look where these where these circles are drawn. Okay, and so. This circle right here is going to be drawn on that 1.12 line. So let's come back on to our and so let's do our circle. So let's look back at our picture here real quick. All right, so we got our first.
Okay. Let's do this. Real quick. All right. So let's look at what we have here. So we do have one more construction line that we have to draw, and that's going to be this circle right here. And so this is going to be a diameter of 4.5. And so we're come back over here. We're going to turn back on our construction layer. We're going to go to our circle tool, right? We're going to go to the center of our circle. We're going to start drawing that lot, that line, that circle out. We're going to hit D for diameter. And then we're going to go 4.5 enter. Okay. And so now this picture gives us where our circles are going to be drawn, our smaller circles for our shape, right? So we're going to be drawing three 0.56 diameter circles, right? So the first one's going to be up here on the top. And so we're going to come back over here. We're going to change our layer back to our drawing layer. And so we're going to go right here. We're going to specify in the center. And then we're going to draw out. We're going to hit D for diameter, right? And it's going to be point five, six, right? So let's just double check that, make sure we're good. Okay, good. Okay, and so now we're gonna do the same thing on our other corners. So we're gonna come back down to our example. We're looking where it meets. It's gonna meet on that corner right there. So at this point right here, and so we're gonna go back up to our circle, specify the center, there we go. Okay, and again, we're gonna do D for diameter. 0.56 and our last one is going to be over here so again we're going to select our circle come back over here get the center bring it out 0.5 oh, let's do d for diameter and then 0.56 there we go okay so now we have our three circles drawn and so now the next thing that we have to do is we have to come up with how we're going to draw this shape okay this exterior triangular shape and so what we're going to do is we're going to look at these and this right here says that the radius of this semicircle right here is 0.62 okay and so what we're going to do is we're going to draw three circles around our original smaller circles at 0.62 okay so let's do uh, this great okay so now we're going to go up to our radius and we're going to go up to our circle we're going to come right here now this is radius so we don't have to specify anything we're going to get to the center of our circle right we're going to draw it out we're going to do 0.62 we're going to do that on all three edges Okay, so let's get our circle again. It's 0.62. More time. So the, the only annoying thing that I find with AutoCAD is that you have to keep going back up and reselecting the same tool. 0.62. Okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to save, right? So we're gonna go up here to